Kate related to education and declaring an emergency. Recognize Senator Gilzer. Thank you, Madam President. Colleagues, Senate Bill 898 is about something that has come up a couple of times on the floor, the elusive fifth year programs. Uh, over the course of the last several months, we've had a lot of conversation about something, um, and we've used the term fifth year programs, but what quickly became clear is that that term means different things to different people. Uh, in certain regions of the state, uh, particularly the region that uh, the good representative from the San Diego Canyon and I live in, there are many schools that have used this program to improve their high school graduation rates and the rate of kids moving on to college. For instance, in the Corvallis School District that I represent, their fifth year program is called Running Start. What they have done as part of this Running Start program is gone back to find kids who have actually dropped out of high school. They're not coming to school anymore. They go and they track them down. These are people that have had babies, they've been arrested, uh, they are working to support their families and have not had time to come to school. They've lost hope for themselves. The district has come and pulled them back in, invited them into this Running Start program, and said you don't have to take your classes at the comprehensive high school that didn't necessarily work for you. You can do a combination of, of classes on the school district campus and on the community college campus. These students have not earned their standard diploma. They have not necessarily even completed four years of high school, but the impact of this program in just two years, the Corvallis School District has increased its high school graduation rate by 12 points. These are kids, we're not talking about kids that weren't going to go to college, we are talking about kids that were not going to even graduate from high school. And you watch these kids walk across the stage and imagine what that means, not just for their future, but their kids' future, this is a program that changes the cycle of poverty. We're talking about transformational change that lasts across generations. So I think that it is the wrong thing to do to stop districts who have found a way to work in partnership to help these kids actually graduate from high school. There are a handful of places in the state that are doing something else that's called a fifth year program, where they hold back um, a student's diploma and say, we'll give it to you after a year and we'll pay for you to go to community college. This is not the vast majority of, of the kids. Uh, what we are gen generally looking at are kids that are really struggling. We are working to keep them in school, using that carrot to get them to actually graduate from high school. So what we agreed in order to save our programs in the middle part of the state was to create a moratorium on this program because people kept saying Portland might start to do this and it will break the state school fund. So this bill creates a moratorium for one year. It says every student that was signed up for a fifth year program for next year, they're in. Uh, they get to participate. We don't tell districts they can't do this anymore. All we say is for this one year, for a kid that hasn't already signed up, you cannot claim state school fund for a student that has already completed four years of high school and has satisfied the requirements for a standard high school diploma. This means that we are not restricting those kids that weren't able to complete in four years. We're not restricting those kids that have not earned standard diplomas. We are just holding the claim of that money for a year while we work to better define these programs, what they actually are, and get a accurate information about them. And I just wanna say again, the inaccurate information about these programs that's been flying through this building is incredibly frustrating um, to the districts that really have stepped up and found a way to completely transform the lives of some pretty vulnerable kids. We will come back with recommendations. We're working through uh, Senator Roblin's committee, the Senate Education Committee, to talk about sideboards on these programs and to make sure they do the good things that they are doing, that it's a program that's available across the state. But again, colleagues, we uh, sat in a Senate Education Committee and I took exception because the, a representative of the OEIB called my superintendent unethical. There is nothing unethical about boosting your high school graduation rate by 12 points. Isn't that what we're here to do? To help kids graduate from high school, to help kids succeed, to find innovative ways to make sure that kids are able to meet this 40-40-20 goal that we have set for ourselves. I am proud of these districts that have been smart in the way that they've met the needs of our kids. They are not unethical, they are not criminal, they are not hiding things. They are standing up and taking care of kids 
changing their lives, lifting them out of poverty, and we need to make sure that we do not take away the tools that districts have to meet the needs of the kids in their communities, especially non-Portland communities. Thank you, Madam President.